Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory, Abba Father. We give God a praise. Let God be magnified in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe, tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory Abba Father. Glory a shadow of days. God is stopping those that are coming after your life. God is stopping you, stopping those that are coming after your life. Do you know why I am coming? I'm sounding like this. I am just coming inside this message. I'm just, you know, taking this message this way. Because those that are coming after your life, they are pure evil. They are pure evil. Everyone has the right to be alive and function the way God wants them to function and be who God wants them to be. But because of their wickedness, because of their wickedness, they try to stop you from being who God says you should be. They try to pull you down. They try to keep you in the circle. I said, God will deal with your enemy. God will deal with your enemy. <clears throat> God will deal with your enemy. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. You are just trying to be better. You are not harming anyone. I am just looking at this person. When I hear this message, I'm like, wow. You are not harming anyone. You can't even harm a fly. I always say this. You are not harming anyone. You don't, you know, you are just like that person who wants peace at all costs. Should I say manager of peace? So let me come down and say that you not look as if I'm too serious. Should I say that you are just a manager of peace? <laughs> let me say something that will at least lighten your mood because I'm seeing this thing is like, the message is kind of getting me a bit angry. So I have to like talk to myself. So somebody don't like, ah, but it's like you are too serious in this message. Ah, why are you this serious? It's okay. You know, <laughs> like you are even that type that is a manager of peace, manager of peace, a peacemaker. You know, you don't, you don't, you are like, how ah, I wish the whole world can repent. But unfortunately, the whole world cannot repent. If they would have repented, it is when Jesus was here. Or rather, when Jesus rose from the grave. Yes, they would have repented. But rather, yet, rather, they went and they start even contesting the resurrection. Instead of them to repent, they're like, I know we have to say this is a lie. We have to say that this does not, this never happened. We have to say this is not true. You know, they were contesting the resurrection of Jesus Christ. They were even trying to bribe the soldiers. So I know as a manager of peace that you are, a peace ambassador, <laughs> you are like, I, I wish the whole world, yes, yeah, so I wish the whole world can change and just be good, be kind. You can see, you can imagine, it's like, it would have just been like the Garden of Eden, you know, like those drawings that Jehovah Witnesses normally have, you know, that drawing that they have. Uh, if you see some of their book, when I was growing, there are some of their book I see, like, they will have a beautiful feed. They are like, okay, this is how the garden is, where everybody will be living, when God has destroyed the wicked, according to their own way of preaching, their own Bible, you understand? You, you, can, you are like, ah, how I wish the whole world can be at peace. You can imagine, everything will be so peaceful, will be so calm, the air will be clean, and everything everything even the way that the people are polluting this earth polluting the earth if the mother earth, earth have mouth it will not even say ah you people should leave me alone it's too much <clears throat> you understand so all you are doing is trying to move on you are just trying to move on but yet they won't leave you alone that is pure wickedness all you are trying to do is to manage peace as a peace ambassador, <laughs> you are trying to manage peace. 
you are trying to make people understand that ah life is too short why are you wicked let go of wickedness come to light they are telling you no we don't want to come to light <laughs> you know that kind of attitude mm -mm. we don't want light we want we want darkness that is what they want you are telling them that ah come to peace there is peace they are telling you ah we don't want peace <laughs> they, uh, there is something I always, I always, I saw some time ago that said they don't want peace. They want war, war always. You know, not just commenting something. I'm like, wow, this is very interesting. <laughs> this is very interesting. <clears throat> but the truth is that those that are coming for your life, they are pure evil. They are pure evil, and what they do is to try to destroy your life. Even when you try to move forward, they are looking for a way to destroy your whole life. That is why I said God will stop them. You being an ambassador of peace, but they be an ambassador of war and problems because they are an ambassador of darkness for the devil. Can you understand that if there is, a, if there is an ambassador of light, ambassador of peace that is also an ambassador of, of darkness an ambassador of evil because they are this is what they are to satan their master you are an ambassador of peace to god because that is what god makes you to be but sometimes you need to understand wisdom is profitable to direct the fact that you want peace does not mean that you should let them kill you. You have to stop them before they stop you. You need to understand that you cannot make peace with Satan. You cannot make peace with demon. You cannot make peace with witches and wizard. They are in for darkness. Because light and darkness has nothing in common. They can't coexist. There is no dwelling place for light and darkness. N not even the highest, uh, is it engineer, um, is it what do the scientists, they call it, the most, not the highest scientists on this earth have not been able to keep darkness and light in the same place. There will always be a separation. There will, be al there will always be a separation. Hallelujah. No matter how dark the night is, when there is a single star, you can, you can differentiate it and say, that is a star. That is a star because they cannot exist together. You cannot, no matter how dark the night is, if there is a moon, you can see it. How different it is from the dark place and say, there is a moon there. There is a moon up there. Child of God, that is something you need to understand. Hatred there are hatred. Hate, their hatred cannot allow them to allow your peace inside of them because it cannot coexist with them. That is why I said that God is going to stop them because they are pure evil that no matter how you are trying to move forward, they won't let you alone. They won't leave you. They just keep drawing you backward, messing with your whole life. Mercy with your whole life. I say, child of God, that God will put a stop to those that are coming after your life. To mess up with your life. And God will make, will make a message. A positive message will come out from your life. In other words, God will make a message from the mess that they have put your life in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to our Father. For you being a peacemaker, you are not stupid. But sometimes you have to be wise. You have to be wise. You have to be wise. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. From today, I am praying for you. As you move on, as you move forward, no evil will be able to pull you backward in the name of Jesus. And I pray they will not be able to destroy your life in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. 
I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah, by the grace of God. I will see you again. Bye-bye.